Hey everybody, it's meteorologist Hutch Johnson with your water and rain forecast and report. We'll look at how much rain has fallen this week. We'll show you where I'm expecting more for the weekend in this version of Hutch's now, Weather. A Hutch's Weather Update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, as we uh, close out our Friday, the rain showers were mainly in the Southern Valley along the South Dakota border where we had anywhere from a quarter to a half of an inch of rain across those Southern counties that did extend into Southern parts of Minnesota as well from Traverse County where we got over a quarter of an inch and even in Northern Cass County with that thunderstorm that was north of the FM area, 93 one hundredths there, a goose egg in Fargo at zero and all the dry areas. Now, the last two days, though, as we went through Thursday and Friday, a few rounds of storms did produce over an inch in some of our areas along and near the I-94 corridor. So an inch and a quarter down there about in southern Barnes County with there's that 93 one hundredths in northern Cass County as well. A little bit more than a third of an inch down in Traverse County and just a smattering of light rainfall amounts across Otter Tail County heading into the last two days of our work week. Now for the week, check it out. It looks like we've had a soggy one indeed with the I-94 corridor seeing a dry spot in here, Grant County, Western Morton County, but all along the interstate here, uh, many locations picking up a third of an inch. Then look at this, an inch and two thirds down there in Southern parts of uh, the uh, uh, Barnes County area. Highway two, a lot of you seeing over a third of an inch, two thirds of an inch as we head into that Minot area, a half of an inch of rain. Ramsey County, one inch and about a third there with some wet conditions in Southeast North Dakota, over two inches reported down there south of the Oaks area and in Sargent County as well with 62 hundreds in Southern parts of Traverse County. Now let's look at the forecast rainfall amounts for your night tonight, Friday night and into Saturday. Saturday will bring a morning round of storms and then an afternoon and evening round of storms. So by Sunday morning, we'll have some moisture that will work its way across mainly the south. So here is a look at what I'm thinking is what we're going to expect. Rainfall that will be making its way in the I-94 corridor and south along I-94, lower amounts there, about a tenth with many of us getting zilch. But as you go down toward the South Dakota border, more prominent rainfall, a half inch to an inch for some of you. Again, there's going to be some spots that get missed. These will trail to the south and east and into southern Minnesota along the Minnesota River Valley there. Notice the southern one half of Minnesota with a better chance of rain than our neighbors up north in places like Walsh County. There's Marshall County, Minnesota, seeing quiet conditions. Now there's another round of rain coming Sunday and into Monday morning, but the track will be a little farther north the way I'm thinking. This is a look at one model's rendition and not everywhere is gonna get this much rain, even though everywhere is covered or colored. Now, where you see the lighter colors, it's going to be more spotty with the rain chances and a trace to maybe a third in isolated locations. Between Grand Forks and Fargo, we could see a few spots with a half of an inch of rain and even more of you, or excuse me, even fewer of you with over an inch to maybe two inches of rain under the gully washers out there that work their way through. So storms will fire here, central South Dakota and move their way to the north and east. You can find out more on the track on my comprehensive forecast that you'll see right here. For now, soggy weather through the weekend on and off mainly in the south sunday will be our best chance as we go into monday morning then after that delightful quiet and warming with extra spiffy conditions next week details in your forecast always on hutchesweather.com thanks for your trust thanks for your patience with me as i'll be back on a more routine schedule and working toward that as we go into next week for now have a wonderful weekend i'll keep you apprised a severe weather risk looks to be well to the south this weekend, but we'll keep you on top of it. Follow me on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and have a spiffy day.